Welcome to the video, Care of Your Urinary Drainage Bag. It might be helpful to begin by reviewing basic male anatomy. First, two kidneys, located near the small of the back, filter waste and water out of the bloodstream and dispose of them by creating urine. The urine passes from each kidney through a tube called the ureter to the bladder, where it's stored. The urethra carries urine from the bladder out of the body. The male prostate gland, approximately the size of a walnut, surrounds the urethra. It is located behind the pubic bone, in front of the rectum, and below the bladder. The prostate is part of the male reproductive system. If the prostate becomes swollen or there is a growth pressing against it, the urethra might become compressed and a man could have difficulty starting a stream of urination and or emptying the bladder. Rectal exams are done to examine the prostate for any abnormalities. An indwelling Foley catheter is a soft tube that continuously drains urine from the bladder into a drainage bag. The tube is held in place in the bladder by a small balloon that is filled with sterile water. A syringe is used to inflate and deflate the balloon of the catheter. There are several precautions one should take to care for the catheter and prevent bladder infections. First, it is important not to pull the catheter out. This can only be done when instructed to do so by the physician. The catheter is taped to your leg to help prevent accidental pulling on the catheter. It is important to be aware if your catheter is not draining. The catheter has lumens, which are holes that allow the urine to drain. The primary reasons for stoppage are the drainage bag is full, the drainage bag is above the bladder level, or the catheter is kinked. The lumens can stop up with blood clots, sediment, or mucus. This can cause urine to back up into the bladder and even the kidneys, which can cause kidney damage. One sign of a stopped up catheter is a full bladder. Fullness or pressure in the center of the lower abdomen or the sensation of needing to urinate might indicate a full bladder. To check for stoppage, you should check to make sure that urine is draining into the bag. Check for any kinking of the catheter or tubing. Check and make sure the placement of the bag is lower than the bladder. Check and make sure the bag is not greater than two-thirds full. If you cannot find a problem with the bag or tubing, empty the bag. At the end of one hour, there should be at least one ounce of urine collected in your drainage bag. If the tube is not draining into the bag and you continue to feel tightness in the bladder area, Hello. call your doctor. Yeah, I got a urinary bag. Another thing to be aware of is the possibility of bladder spasms, which might occur while you're in the hospital or at home, or they may not occur at all. Bladder spasms cause a tightening or discomfort in the bladder area, which might cause intense pain. The cause of the bladder spasms is not known, but a possible cause may be irritation from the catheter. If you have a bladder spasm, first check to make sure the catheter is draining properly. Bladder spasms may be treated with medication. After taking medication, spasms should begin to subside within about 15 minutes of treatment. If they have not subsided within one hour, call your doctor. It is normal to see a small amount of blood-tinged drainage around the catheter insertion site, especially when passing gas or experiencing a bladder spasm. If you notice a change in the character of the drainage, such as color, odor, or amount, call your doctor. Remember, you should also call your doctor if your temperature is greater than 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no urine in the bag. There is a presence of more blood in your urine. This is indicated when the urine becomes more red. There is cloudy or foul-smelling urine. You have blood clots. You have pain that increases, constant pain, or pain in a different area of the body. You have flank pain, which is pain in the side of the mid to low back area. You have a burning feeling or pain around the catheter site. 
You have lower abdominal pain or unrelieved bladder spasms. You have increased swelling, pain, or warmth of the penis or scrotum. There is a change in amount of urine drainage. There is redness, swelling, tenderness, warmth, or drainage around the incision site. You are generally not feeling well. When it is time to remove the catheter, place a syringe on the Y port of the catheter and pull back on the plunger to draw the fluid out of the balloon. Repeat a second time to ensure all the fluid is out. While holding the tip of the penis with one hand, gently pull the portion of the catheter closest to the penis and slowly remove. This should not be painful. It will feel more like pressure. If you experience pain, stop and contact your doctor. If you have any questions or concerns, call your clinic area Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. After hours or during weekends and holidays, call the MD Anderson operator to page the doctor on call. Good hygiene is important, especially when you have a Foley catheter. Bathe with soap and water daily. You may use regular soap to bathe. It is important to wash the penis area, especially the tip and under the foreskin. Wash the part of the catheter closest to the penis and the penis with soap and water. Rinse with water to help prevent infection. Since hand washing is one of the most important things that you can do to prevent infection, it is important that you first wash your hands with soap and water before emptying, cleaning, or changing your urinary drainage bag. Your bedside bag is a urine collection device which can store a large amount of urine. It must be used at night or if you lie down for a long period of time to allow for appropriate drainage of urine. It can be put in a tray or bucket to prevent urine from accidentally leaking onto the floor. Or you can place a clean garbage bag inside a small trash can and hang the bag inside the trash can. Or you may place the bag on a small table or stool beside the bed. Remember, the bag must be placed below the level of the bladder. To empty your bedside bag, follow these steps. Find the emptying port. Remove it from the housing. Open the clamp on the bag. Drain the urine into the toilet. Close the clamp. Return the end to the housing. Now let's talk about the urinary leg bag. Your leg bag is also a urine collection device. It allows you to have greater independence and move around more easily. We encourage you to use it throughout the day. You should wear the leg bag on the lower part of your leg for better drainage. It's important that you keep the bag below the bladder for proper drainage. If you sit in a recliner or in a reclining position with your legs elevated, you should move the bag and place it lower than the bladder. The bag may also be worn on your thigh. When assembling the leg bag, you should start with the top of the bag right side up. You should be able to read the writing on the bag. Notice the lever. Be sure to close the lever to keep urine in the bag. The connecting tubing provides the length to connect the catheter, tube, or pouch with the leg bag. To connect, remove the cover from the white port of the leg bag. Attach the soft end of the tube to the white port of the leg bag, pushing hard to make sure it is secure, and tug slightly to make sure it will not come off easily. The straps keep the bag on the leg. The rougher, slightly sticky side of the elastic goes against the skin. This helps keep the bag from sliding down the leg. Attach the straps to the leg bag buttons. When you are ready to change from the bedside bag to the leg bag, follow these steps. 
attach the leg bag to the outside of the leg. To help prevent blood clots and tissue damage, pull the straps to tighten only enough to keep the bag from sliding down the leg. Place a washcloth under the portion where the catheter and bag tubing are joined. Clean with an alcohol wipe the area where the catheter and tubing join. Pinch the catheter to prevent urine from leaking out. To disconnect the bedside bag from the drainage tube, you may pull, twist and pull, or push the catheter off the tubing with your thumb. Hold the tubing upward to drain the urine and then set the tubing down. Clean the end of the catheter and the leg bag tubing with alcohol. Place the end of the tubing inside the catheter. Pull slightly to make sure the tubing is secure. Tape the tubing to the side of the leg. When you're ready to drain the bag, release the bottom strap and hold the bag over the toilet. To drain, remove the cover and pull down the lever. Remember to drain the bag before it is two-thirds full. When the bag is empty, put the lever back up and replace the cover. Cleaning the bedside and leg bags is important. They should be cleaned daily after emptying the urine. Before cleaning the leg bag, remove the straps so they do not get wet. Wash the outsides with warm soapy water. To wash the inside, use tap water and a bleach solution. You may use the bucket or the sink as long as it's clean. Using a syringe, put about two cups of tap water into your bag. Shake the bag vigorously for a slow count to 10. Empty the water from the bag into the toilet by releasing the clamp. Repeat the process. The rinsing must be done twice. To prepare the cleaning solution, pour 150 milliliters or five ounces of tap water into a clean container. Add one tablespoon of non-perfumed bleach, like Purex or Clorox. This creates a 10 to one ratio. Using a syringe, put about five ounces of the bleach solution that you made into the bag. Swish it around for a slow count to 30, making sure the bleach solution touches all of the inner surfaces of the bag. Drain the bleach solution into the toilet. Hang the bag and allow it to air dry until its next use. Never leave urine in the bags when they are not in use. The bedside bag is cleaned in the same manner. However, the tip of the bedside bag tubing is made of a hard plastic. And the tip of the syringe will barely fit. Do not force the syringe or the tubing will crack. When bathing, use the bedside bag because the leg bag has straps that will get wet. You can hang the bedside bag on a soap dish holder or lay it on the floor of the bathtub. Be careful not to step on the bag. If you will be sitting or traveling for a long period of time, it is important that you get up and walk around every hour to help prevent blood clots. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, call your clinic area Monday through Friday 
8 a.m. to 5 p.m. After hours or during holidays or weekends, call the MD Anderson operator to page the doctor on call. If you have an emergency, go to your nearest emergency room. We hope this video will help you in caring for your urinary drainage bag.